What up everybody, it's your boy B. here, got another quick and easy recipe for you. Got some tuna casserole and these are the ingredients. You'll need some of these egg noodles, the ranzoni, healthy harvest, all natural, 100% whole grain. Sounds good, but these are the macros, 180 calories per serving, 9 grams of protein, 37 grams of carbs. So this recipe is going to be an extremely high carb, extremely high protein recipe. And it's uh, there's a thousand and one ways to make tuna casserole. This is just my way, real simple. I don't want to keep it too. I don't want to make it too complex. You know, something like this should be able to put it together in minutes and keep it moving. So you need three cans of tuna, uh, one can of the cream of mushroom, one can of the cheddar cheese soup, some breadcrumbs, and some seasoning. You could go with salt and pepper. You could go with some adobo. And you need some frozen peas, about a cup's worth. Now, as far as the cream of mushroom or and the cheddar cheese soup, you could use two of um of one of them, you know. So use one of each, but I just confused the shit out of myself. Just you could use two cream of mushroom if you want, or two cheddar cheese, but use one of each also. So you could use up to three cans total. There, I said it. Next, all you have to do is cook the pasta. And then just mix all the ingredients in except for the breadcrumbs. All right, now you see I'm dumping in all the tuna, and then I'm gonna dump in the peas, then the cream of mushroom, and then with the cheddar soup, the shit was stuck to the can, so it wasn't coming out. So, you know, I had to freeze the camera, get a spoon, and spoon all of it out. And I also seasoned it, which I had cut off the camera, so don't forget to season it. All right, and add as much or as little seasoning as you want. To have it creamier, like I said, you could use one extra can of whatever you choose, whether it's the cream of mushroom or the cheddar cheese soup. Just stir everything up, and that's it. After this, you could just transfer it to a cooking tray, wherever you're gonna put it into the, into the oven, the baking tray. As you see, I'm gonna stuff that tray right there to its capacity. I'm gonna pack it, and I'm gonna Pour the breadcrumbs over the top. Grab a spoon after you put the amount of breadcrumbs you want and spread it out evenly and pat it down. All right, now at this point, if you want to add some shredded cheddar cheese or mozzarella, or whatever cheese you want, you can go ahead and do that and put that on top of the breadcrumbs after you pat the breadcrumbs down. Now I had that tuna, um, that taco casserole all week, so I was all cheesed out. Um, I just left it with the breadcrumbs alone and you're gonna put it into the oven of course cover it I forgot to do that but um you want to bake it for about 35 minutes or until the you see that the the crumbs are nice and golden brown and it makes a nice golden brown crust on top and that's how how long it took me it was 35 minutes to get it looking like this so you can just picture if you put the cheese on top or you could put the cheese on the actual dish after you serve it you know and that, that's it tuna casserole has a real good flavor the breadcrumbs you know they add a nice little uh just a different taste to it it blends perfectly it tastes good it is real simple and it'll last you for more than one day so guys you wanted to know a recipe with some tuna this is just one of many i'll make sure i put more out in the very near future thank you for watching guys leave a comment don't forget to like, y'all hold it down.